Well, Timmy had a big day out at Rose Hill last week and he caught up with the movers and shakers of the racing industry to get the lowdown on the latest initiatives by Racing New South Wales, including the brand new race, The Big Dance. It's a $2 million mile race on Melbourne Cup Day and it'll just bring a new excitement to Randwick on Melbourne Cup Day. You know, what we've done with the spring racing in Sydney, we've strengthened it, we've consolidated, then come Melbourne Cup Day, it's going to be a huge celebration for Sydney. You know, Melbourne Cup's a big day for racing in Australia, so why can't all racing venues celebrate on that day? And with the big dance, it's going to be a great day out at Royal Randwick. I'm sure over the years I've had a few dances, particularly when I was younger. <laughs> On Cup Day, I was just, just, just. And the five diamonds, a race for five-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. Again, a new concept, a, a fantastic. It's been very, very well received in the industry. And, you know, you've got to be innovative then. Anyone who sits on their hands today, you're going backwards. In this industry, you've got to keep on being innovative and you've got to keep on attracting the younger demographic out to our industry, which we're succeeding in doing here today. You look at the crowd here today, it is a younger demographic um, and we'll continue to build that way right through to the spring and the big dance. It's a fantastic time. You've got great weather, unbelievable racing, summer's just around the corner. Wouldn't be any other city in the world you'd rather be in than Sydney and new initiatives with the big dance and of course so much more. Yeah, the big dance, it's going to attract more people on Cup Day. It's a national event. City should be able to have its own big race at the same time. So that's a great initiative by Racing New South Wales. It really does make it such a good spring, doesn't it, when you've got Golden Eagle. The Everest has taken on a life of its own. Well, the Golden Eagle is really a race that's just sort of come out of nowhere and really is now shaping those four-year-old horses here at Rose Hill. It's a great result for Western Sydney, but it's a race that's really come into its own so quickly. The amount of money it brings to the state is huge. Well, this, it employs so many people, it generates so much activity across the visitor economy, and this is the economy, that, the section of the economy that's really helping Sydney and New South Wales rebound from the impact of COVID. So racing's definitely punching above its weight. You know, I think from a, from a country cup perspective, getting your horse to uh, Randwick, as we do every week with the highways and even with the midways as well, it's an exciting time and to culminate it, getting on Randwick on Melbourne Cup Day or Bentley Melbourne Cup Day is an incredible achievement. Uh, been down to Bega and we'll go across all across New South Wales and see some fantastic country horses make their way to the big dance uh, in early November, so really looking forward to it. Great name too. Oh, it's a great name and uh, I think everyone has a bit of a big dance. It's uh, been a few years since I've done it, but it's uh, kind of non-stop, isn't it? We, we just keep on having these great races and I think it really is complimentary all the way through the year and uh, we're seeing time and time again keeping horses in work, keeping keeping the industry moving and uh, and there's certainly, no, uh, there's certainly no downside in Sydney at the present. So it's a, a great new initiative, of course, it's one of the biggest race days in Australasia and uh, to have a two million dollar race at Randwick now is really, really exciting. It's a great day, isn't it, Cup Day at Randwick? Fantastic day and now we've got a, a, a great race to stand on its own and um, no, it's always a big crowd and amazing atmosphere so looking forward to it and hopefully I can get a runner or two there. It's a uh, racehorse trainer's dream, um, what's happened with the spring in New South Wales, it is unbelievable, the money on offer um, at the moment, it's just a great game to be involved in. And uh, what about the Everest? I've just got to find a horse. Hopefully one or two can put their hand up over the coming weeks. Um, but it's, it's been a, a great concept. Uh, young people are back at the track and, and the atmosphere's uh, excellent. So hopefully you can get one or two there. Yes, well, we just keep improving in New South Wales, mate. Peter's done it again. Pulls them out of somewhere. This keeps on coming, you know. It's got bigger and bigger. Remember, 25 years ago, everyone went to Melbourne. Randwick's been holding, holding their own the last few years for sure. To add a race like that to it, it's fantastic. Prize money is, uh, everyone will tell you, money's been never been better, opportunity's never better, great time to be in racing, uh, and it's been like that for the last 10 years. Of course, the sprint, the Everest, which uh, you've gone close in. Second last year, uh, we're taking, we're at this stage we're heading towards Master Sater again this year. Uh, didn't look very good a week or so ago in Melbourne. The winner come from the inside at 101, so you can't do much about that. But uh, we're, we're tracking pretty well. Happy, excited. Yeah, second's not bad. Better kick in the nuts. Absolutely, absolutely.